Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's me. I have no makeup on. I'm uploading a video right now talking about Yvette sports bras um, because I have been wearing the Yvette stuff all day. And I was just sitting here and I was working on some stuff. And I was like, I'm going to go say hi to my friends. I want to see how your first day of 2020 has gone so far. I also wanted to talk a little bit more about goals. So today is my first day without Diet Coke. And I was not back up to the levels of diet soda that I was previously to quitting. But I noticed today that it was it was almost like because I wasn't going to drink it <laughs> that I wanted it even more. So um, we're getting ready to watch a movie. We're going to watch The Martian, I think is what my husband wants to watch. And I have a vlog going up from today of just basically what we did today was move Judah out of his room. So Judah is moving into the apartment that he and Dakota will be living in starting in June. And my husband and I got that room completely cleaned out. You'll see on my vlog tonight. Um, it's all cleaned out and I moved my office in there. And so I was just thinking about 2019 and what I've seen a lot of, and I don't know if you guys feel this way. Hi everybody. Hi friends. Oh, a bunch of people popped in here. Good. It's good to see you guys. Did you all feel like 2019 was a difficult year? I am seeing a lot of people like posting on Facebook and posting over here on YouTube and over on Instagram that 2019 was really hard. and you know, I was in a big car accident. I've had a lot of job stress. I had this big situation with my family. You know, I've been, I don't want to be overly dramatic, but since the boys moved out, I've, it's really been an adjustment for me. And it's been real quiet around the house and I don't like it. <laughs> so I think it's just, you know, like a combination of things, you know what I'm talking about? And then just really struggling with being on program and just not feeling like I had it together all year. Um, I'm really looking forward with a lot of optimism and hope for 2020. Do you guys feel hopeful about 2020? So Susan Thompson says, yes, 2019 was hard. Um, <laughs> Carrie, 3, 3440. Hi, Carrie. She says, cheers. Let's make 2020 better than 2019. And I totally agree. Um, you know, <laughs> Esther, Esther H says, hi, Amy, I need to do the no diet Coke as well. I did really well for three months and then caved in. Right. And I am just going to not drink it. And usually what happens and what I did for the couple of years that I didn't drink it, I just didn't buy it. Um, I kind of substituted with a lot of Zevia. You guys know I love Zevia. A lot of you out there are not Stevia fans. I know that you've told me, um, but I happen to really like Stevia and I like Zevia. I also like the ice drinks. <sighs> Let's be honest, I need to drink more water. And so that's going to be something I'm focusing on this year. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of, you know, just goals in terms of organizing my home. I think now that the boys are gone, we can kind of get rid of a lot of stuff. And I was realizing today that I have a lot of stuff that I don't need. So Sherry, I'm so sorry that 2019 was hard for you. I'm not, it, it's strange. I'm seeing a little bit more of that from people that 2019 was just a difficult year. Um, and I'm feeling really, really happy and excited about 2020. So I wanted to come on here and just tell you all that I can sympathize if 2019 was not your year. Um, some of you guys out there have had a phenomenal year. I, I've seen a lot of people lose a lot of weight this last year doing different things. Um, so I know there was a potential out there to have a great year. And I've been really trying to find something today that was positive. <laughs> um, and the only thing that I could think of is that I didn't go all the way back up. There's a few things. Number one, our life here is really wonderful and I have a lot to be thankful for. So um, we're in a great church. I have a really amazing job. You know, I'm healthy. My husband's healthy. My kids are healthy. Those are all really good things. In terms of weight loss is kind of what I was getting at. Um, I'm really thankful that I didn't get back up to 288 pounds. I feel like that was a potential at one point within the last year. 
uh, there were some times that I would really was out of control with my eating. So um, Spanish whispers, you're going to declutter with me. Hi, Shelly Johnson. Thanks for moderating. You did a stuff dump as well. Yes, we've been, this stuff is all going um, to be donated. We've got all this stuff going out with Judah. And then you just realize like there's boxes of stuff in the attic. We moved here a year ago and we have boxes of stuff that just need to be eradicated. So that is something that I'm going to work on. I love spring cleaning and doing all of that. I was in my closet today. You guys are going to see on the blog tonight. My closet's atrocious. I need to go through clothes. How do you all feel about like getting rid of larger sizes? I think that I have been told that, um, <laughs> you know, for people that have lost weight and gotten down to their goal weight, that they got rid of sizes. And I've done that to an extent, but I have like a fear of, I have like some really beautiful things in larger sizes and I have a fear of like getting rid of them and then my weight going up and feeling like, oh no, there's that beautiful dress that I used to always wear to church and I don't have it anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you guys go through the same like process with that? Do you get rid of sizes as you go down? <sighs> I'm reluctant. And then I have a lot of small sizes of like stuff that's like, I would, I'm never going to wear that. It's totally out of style, but it's like, I want it because I want to fit back into it at some point because I feel like putting that on is going to feel so good. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like I have some really ugly bootcut jeans that they are a size 12 and I just want to get them on and get them zipped before I donate them. Does that make sense? So Pat Wilson, you're also afraid of getting, getting rid of larger sizes. Um, Jean Bickford says, think positively. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Lou G, you've gotten rid of your bigger sizes. I definitely need to get rid of my bigger sizes. Hi, Mary Vitro. Did you figure out how to fix your notifications? I hope so. So that's one thing to kind of look at, I think, as we start the new year. Do you have bigger sizes of things that you need to purge? Now, I will tell you, the largest size I ever got into was like a 22, 24, um, kind of leaning more on the 24. And I know as soon as I got out of that size, like I'll never forget getting back into a size 20. There was something about getting into a size 20 for me that was really great. And I was able to purge the, you know, the larger sizes. I don't have any size 20 stuff in my closet. What I do have is a lot of one X stuff. Um, I think I have a couple of things that are in like an 18 that are too big for me, but like, I don't want to get rid of them. I have a beautiful evening gown <laughs> that I wore at a wedding, you know, a long time ago. And I, it's, it's a size 20 and it's in its sleeve. I need to go sell it over on Poshmark. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I don't want to get rid of it because it's so pretty. Um, let's see. Hi, holy crap. I'm fat. Hey, you guys need to go check out her channel. I know you're doing that diet that thing, Stephanie. Um, Stephanie is from a channel. Holy crap. I'm fat. I don't, I don't know how to do. I don't understand like the diet bets and the, I don't understand how to do them. Like I honestly don't, like I look at those challenges and I get confused, which may say something about my level of intelligence. Um, <laughs> but I'm like, okay, if I join this, so I pay the $35. So basically if I lose the weight, I get the $35 back, but then I have to like take a picture of myself on the scale. I don't know. I'm so confused. Anyway, uh, Stephanie is doing a challenge over on her channel. I don't, is it too late to join that? Let me know, my friend. Um, hey, Rachel Fowler. So I have the step bets and all of that. I can't figure them out. I must be really stupid. <laughs> Jim Ryan, thank you. I do need to free myself. Free, I need to free myself of the bigger sizes you guys, that is a negative mindset. I totally agree with you. I'm glad we're talking about it over here on my channel because I feel like I'm probably not the only person that has that crap in my closet. So that's going to be the next step is getting rid of that. I also went through a lot of my paper goods today. I have old planners I need to purge. I have my new planner that I have started working on this week, but there's, 
I hold on to things like memories. I'm a very like sentimental person, but there's a lot of stuff I need to just like ditch. And I feel like the more things I donate, I try to donate as much as possible because I don't like to throw things out. I feel like it's really wasteful. But the more that I donate and give away, like the freer I feel. Um, I love some of these YouTube channels on minimalism. I think that that's such a great concept. Unfortunately, I like decorating too much. Um, but I would like to become more minimal in my thinking and, and not spending as much money on stuff. So that's, you know, another goal for 2020, I think, is looking at, like, I don't want to buy disposable clothing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm really planning if I can get down a, another size, like going to the thrift store and buying some things and recycle, you know, wearing recycled clothing and not going to like the forever 21s of the world where you buy a t-shirt that's going to fall apart or that you throw away. So Sherry Duman started a wellness and gratitude journal. I love that. Um, hi, Ann Wilson. Thank you very much. Yes, I'd like to hear more about some of your goals that are not so much like scale related. Um, I have a couple of little fitnessy goals. And this year, I would really like to do some sort of 5k walk. I'm never going to run a 5k. Um, I should never say never. But honestly, you guys, that's not like a goal of mine. But I would lo love to do some 5ks for charity. Um, I know like March of Dimes, breast cancer awareness, um, autism. I have, you know, a family member that has autism in my family. Now I have a family member that has some other developmental intellectual issues. I would love to go and walk for her specific diagnosis. So those are definitely some things out there that I would like to look more into this year and possibly commit to doing one of those things. I know the March of Dimes one, which is for premature babies. I know that one is coming up here at some point. So I'd love to do that in my area. So tell me what you guys are thinking for 2020. Um, Charlene Bordelon, you're saying that the VA picks up donations at your house and sells items to raise money for veterans. I love that idea. And I'm going to go do a little search online and try to find out if the VA in my area does the same thing. Um, three plus a bunny says so she, she got blah, 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 blah. <laughs> she got a Michelle Obama guided journal for Christmas. Really? I have not, I have not seen that and I have not seen any guided journals. I don't know what that is. So definitely I'm going to go have to look for something like that. Now I'm terrible. I need to stop but I like to look anyway. I need to not buy. In fact, I'm so good, you guys. The last couple times I went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby around Christmas time, I did not buy any new planner stuff. I'm like, I have one planner for the year. I'm not going to go super crazy. I do have my little pink journal that I'm using to write down what I'm eating. You guys have seen that. Um, I'm using that. And then I'm using a big planner that I've also reviewed on my channel for work and other, other stuff, life stuff. So Karen Bates has done some 5Ks. I love that. Um, Danielle Nicole. Uh, Danielle just opened her channel up again. So Danielle, you were not vlogging for a while. So Danielle Nicole has a Weight Watchers channel. You guys go check her out. And you're going to do water aerobics, volunteer at church. Wow. Love it. I love the volunteering aspect of things. So hi, Janice. Good to see you. Teresa, yes, that's where I'm at too on the planners. Teresa's, Teresa uses two planners. I'm also going to be using two planners, one for work and one for my food and fitness and all of that. So um, three plus a bunny. Thanks for clarifying on what a guided journal is. I appreciate that. I will go back and read. <laughs> Kelly Hunt. Kelly Hunt, you have to tell yourself that things could be worse quite often. Very interesting. Yes, for sure. I really think, you know, I need to work on my mindset in, in terms of being more positive about things. Uh, in 2020, I think gratitude journals are a great idea if you can keep up with them. I'm terrible and I forget to, I don't know, I forget to write things down <laughs> like that. Um, my new little pink 
food journal from Walmart that I showed you guys that does have an area for gratitude and being thankful. And that looks, I mean, it just looks to be so much simpler than buying a whole other journal. Um, and I've been jotting a couple things down, but I find myself being really redundant. So I would love to hear from you guys, like more things that you're thankful for, because maybe there are some things that I'm missing that I'm just not paying attention to. I mean, I always get the big ones, you know, um, so anyway, just thought I would bring a few of those things up to you guys. <laughs> oh, hope I know the trolls that can't spell, they crack me up. So not a big deal. I've kind of figured that a lot of my thumbs down come from trolls. So I, I feel like there are people that just come across my channel and thumbs down it because I really love the <laughs> Shelly. They do love me. Um, thank you for blocking him, Jean. Fabulous. You guys are doing a good job over there with the trolls. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for being moderators for me, you guys. I really do appreciate you all. I want to say hello to my new subscribers. And 2020 is going to be great. I have a lot of ideas for the channel. I did get a new SD card for my camera. My husband's going to help me work on filming the real camera, you guys. The vlog that's going up tonight um, should be kind of interesting. It doesn't have a lot about like what I ate. It was more about like what I did today. So let me know what you think about that content. And I also, like I said, I did another little review of the activewear. Um, I feel like this is a good time of year to pick up some items that motivate you. And like new walking shoes always really motivate me. New active wear always motivates me. And I feel like when I have something cute to put on, I'm more likely to get outside and walk. Do you guys feel like that? I don't know. It's kind of fun to lay those things out and then go walking. We also moved the elliptical. You'll see that in the vlog. So we now have a dedicated exercise room. The other thing that I would like to get, even though I was talking about consumerism a little bit, but... I would really like to get a um, exercise bike of some sort. I don't know why I'm using air quotes, but if you know or you have an exercise bike that you think I should look into, please let me know. Um, I have the elliptical. I love that. And I do a lot of walking outside. I want to incorporate more swimming this year because I love to swim. And then I would like to get, is it called a recumbent bike? I can't remember what it's called, but let me know. <laughs> oh, Vicki, don't worry about it. Let's see. Let me see if I can report him. Um, let's report you for harassment. There we go. So we do block and report over on my channel. And as you guys can see, I have a lot of really great moderators over here. So, uh, <laughs> Kelly, don't worry about it. Thanks, guys, for reporting. I will see you guys later. Check out my vlog. It's going to go up here probably in the next 20 to 30 minutes. And let me know what you think. Drop me a comment down below here. I want to hear about ideas for 2020. Uh, I don't want to get too stuck on resolutions, but I want ideas. And I want things that will kind of propel us forward. I'm very interested on Saturday to go weigh in and see how many new people are at my meeting. So that's always, to me, I find it like kind of fun and funny. I don't know. <laughs> Cause usually you go and you have all these new people at the meeting. And then like two months later, it's like crickets, you know what I mean? So it will be very interesting to see like what, how Weight Watchers is handling new year stuff. And I know some of you guys have already been this week, so you would have more information than I do. Um, I'll come and tell you guys how they handled the first meeting of the new year. And I'll let you know how many people were there. Maybe I'll even vlog a little bit. I'm not going to show people's faces at my meeting because I don't think that that I want to preserve people's privacy, but sometimes I can go in there and show some other stuff. So we'll see. Okay. I will see you guys later. 2020 is all of our years. Thank you, Carrie. I think it's all of our years for sure. Um, Susan Thompson seeing Oprah and Michelle Obama in February. That should be fun. Let me know what she says and what happens. Um, Rachel, you're going to rejoin in May. Very cool. So Rachel Fowler is going to rejoin WW in May. So you're looking at the big picture of the whole year. I love that. Um, thanks, guys. I'm going to go watch The Martian with my husband. Happy New Year. Thanks for listening and hanging out. You guys always motivate me. You always pull my mood up. 
we just have such a great group here on YouTube. So thanks a lot. I will see you guys later. Bye.